Live from WBFF TV, this is Fox 45 Good Day Baltimore. Plus, the story of twins born weeks apart. How doctors were able to make that happen and what life is like for the girls trying to explain their separate birthdays. 927 is the time. Twins born weeks apart. Now, 10 years later, they join us to share their incredible story. Look how cute they are. <laughs> of how it is possible to be twins and be born 54 days apart. All right, I've been doing the math and I'm still confused. They are twins born 54 days apart. And well, yes, you heard us correctly. The twins right here, 54 days apart. Meet Kelly and Charlie here. Can you say hello? Right, this is Kelly, right? Can you say hello for us? Hello. And this is Charlie, your hello. older sister or younger sister? Who's older here? She's older. She's older, okay. And now, Mom, we, we had to have you here for proof here because we've been talking about this 54 days 54 apart. Days. And now we're talking that first Kelly was born. Kelly was born at 24 weeks and one day. 24 weeks of one day. So you were just, I, I'm on, I'm out, I want to come out now. Was it because you didn't like your sister while you were in the room? What was going on there? <laughs> you just need to get out, right? Yeah. And then, and now for 54 days, I mean, you think about it, you're like, ah, wait a minute. And then you start going, that's almost two months two walking months, around still pregnant. Two months pregnant. later. And did you, were you Wasn't concerned? walking around. I was in the hospital. They wouldn't let me go oh, home. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a male. So <laughs> like, hey, yeah, you were I didn't have her and they sent me home. No, I had to stay. <laughs> okay, that's right. But for 54 days, any concerns? A lot. I mean, I was in and out of labor. So okay. it wasn't like uh, after Kelly came, I just hung out. I, they stopped my labor several times. Okay. Um, but uh, was, I was at GBMC just kind of waiting for Chelly, Kelly, I mean Charlie, to right. cook a little longer. Yes, and, yes. and it was worth it because uh, she was a lot healthier. But you, yeah, you have split emotions there because you have Kelly who now is already out in preemie. Yep. And then you're, you're also still dealing with one. Still, still waiting in. for one to come. Okay. Yes. Man, what is so I spent quite a lot of, quite, quite a bit every day, obviously, in the NICU. Right. Um, they tried a whole lot of different uh, procedures like uh, uh, they were introducing a, a procedure called kangarooing where they would lay Kelly on my chest so that she could hear my heartbeat um, thinking that it would make her advance a little bit more. Right. So I mean we, we <laughs> did some <laughs> yes. interesting things while we were there. So we, we were right there. there. Yeah. There's a we lot were hanging that. out there. Yes, that's so great. Um, yeah. a after 100 days I had them both home. Kelly stayed in and on her 100th day she came home. Okay, now let, let me get back to these girls right here. Ten years old. Now, Charlie, I've been told that you're the talker. So, can you tell us a little bit about what you tell people when now that when they see you, does the t word twins ever come up? Um, yes, I tell them that we're twins, but I don't tell them that we're 54 days apart. So, what happens like when they say, "Why isn't your birthday?" Because wait a minute. Speaking of birthdays, you had a birthday. You're 10, right? Mm -hmm. And now, how many more days until you turn 10? I turn 10 on Sunday. Or, this Sunday. This yesterday. coming Sunday. Well, no, right. yesterday. No, yesterday. Wait, What's you just birthday? turned 10. Yeah. So you guys are both 10. All right, well, happy birthday. Thank All you. All right, well, good. And so now, what was the difference then, Kelly? I mean, uh, when you hear people that say they have twins with the same birthday, and you uh, guys are a little different. Any uh, excitement there? Or do you get know. to talk about it? Or you keep it quiet? Keep it quiet. Okay, now, has, has she let you talk at all? I mean, you, you're supposed to be the quiet one. Is there anything interesting? I see that you like purple, and you try and keep yourself different, not like twins. You don't dress the same? Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Do you like the same activities? How about that? No. No. Okay. All right. All right. Now, how about you? Do you like doing different activities? Um, what kind of activities are your favorite now? I like music. I, mean, I like to sing and dance and music. Okay. Out of everything that you got yesterday for your birthday, what was the best gift? Um, I'm getting a metal detector. A metal detector? Yeah. That is one thing I would not expect yes. to hear, but wait a minute, why a metal detector? Because I want to find some treasure in my, in my backyard. What in the world has been buried in your backyard? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, how about a metal detector? Are you going to borrow that at all from your sister? Yes. Oh, so you do have some interest She's here. She's going to dig. She's going to find it. She's going to dig gonna it up. Dig. That's, all right. that's the plan. That's a good thing <laughs> right there. All right. So now, and you guys were saying that you, which school are you going to? Emmonson Heights Elementary. Um, Emmonson Heights, all right. And you're going to fifth grade? Yes. All right, well, thank you very much for coming in. 54 days older, and she's got you doing manual labor, right? <laughs> she's the boss. Yeah, she's the boss. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank Kim, you. It was a pleasure. Thank, thank you, you very much.
All right, for more information on GBMC and to learn more about the twins, well, log on to foxbaltimore.com slash morning. Make